Hey guys, Corey Skinner here. Thanks for watching. So today I'm going to go over a real basic way to tune in your home theater system without going in too much detail, without you know getting into the mini DSP, using room EQ, and all that stuff. Okay, this is a pretty basic video just to go over uh, an easy way to calibrate your speakers and get them in the same audible range uh, at your listening position. So to do this, you're going to need an SPL meter. So SPL sound pressure level meter. I picked up one online, Amazon, pretty cheap, just a pile. This one's a pile, uh, PSPL 25. Uh, and the only reason I got this one is it was less than 50 bucks and it has A-weighted and C-weighted. C-weighted is the one that you want. So when you're looking for one online, just make sure that it has C-weighted. A-weighted is mostly used for OSHA. OSHA will check decibel levels to make sure that it's not gonna hurt human ears. And they have their graphs cut off a lot of the edges and it's just not used for home theater. So make sure it's C-weighted. And mine here, it has a little microphone thing on top that just comes off. It's mostly just for a wind buffer. This is what this one looks like. As you can see, it has a digital readout, uh, hot on off, high, low. So usually you want to set that to low. If it's on high, it'll pick up the levels really fast and it'll bounce around and bounce around. So it's best to set it on low. At low, it'll pick it up every second, you know, the sound. So it'll just you'll be able to monitor it easier on slow. And as well, this thing has uh, A weighted and C weighted. Of course, we're gonna be using C weighted, all right? So the basic premise of this is you're gonna set this SPL meter up at your main listening position, whether it's you're balancing it you know, in between two pillows or putting it on a tripod. Ideally, you want nothing else around it that's gonna block the sound because you're gonna be picking up all the individual speakers. Uh, me, I end up laying on my couch, so I'm kind of out of the way, and I just kind of hold this up like this, where my head would be at my listening position. And then I can sit there and look at what the screen says, and I have my remote, and I can go through my manual EQ on my receiver and just adjust the gains of each speaker. It's pretty easy, guys. So we'll go through that. I'll show you the manual setup on my Yamaha receiver and the standard for home entertainment is you want to make every speaker at about 75 decibels and set them all at the same level. So you want to be able to have all the sound to be equal. You know, you're more immersed that way. You have a better listening experience that way. You don't want to have this left front speaker cranking out 85 decibels when the right front one's cranking out 75 decibels. You're going to hear way too much over here. It's just not going to sound very good especially when you're doing any kind of a surround sound. So I end up getting in my listening position and I'll lay there and pop this baby up, turn it on, put it on C-weighted, put it on slow, and then just watch the numbers. And we'll go into the do test tones, start at the left front, it'll go And I just wanna make sure that this is reading at 75. If it's too low, I'll adjust the gain on that left front. And then once it's sitting around 75, then I'll bump to the right front. <laughs> Same scenario, adjust it. And then the back, and then the rear, rear, side, and even the sub, and even the center channel, all of them. So one other note is the center channel, you can bump up a decibel or so extra if you'd like. Some people like to get that voice uh, to come through a little bit more. And as well as the subs as well. Some people bump up the subs to you know, 77, 78, 79 decibels when everything else is 75 because they want a little bit more of that sub, that low hertz kicking in on their surround sound. So it's pretty straightforward, guys. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll go over to the sofa and I'll just kind of lay down and show you kind of how I do it. It's kind of goofy, but it works for me and it's easy for me to, you know, adjust it as I'm holding my, my meter up. And then I'll show you how to manually go through uh, the test tones on each of the speakers. Again, pretty simple thing to do, and just to make sure, even, th even though you can use that Y-PAL, like my Yamaha has the Y-PAL, it's an automatic calibration, you plug it in the front of the receiver, you put the little mic at your listening position, and you hit auto, and it does the same thing. But it's not that perfect. Um, it's always good to double check. 
I actually, when I did that, my two speakers that were sitting on top of my fronts, my, um, my Atmos, my Dolby Atmos speakers, they were low by like three decibel, well, three gains. So I ended up bumping each of those up three to get 75 decibels at my listening position. So it didn't, it didn't auto calibrate those very correct. Um, it does a decent job and I'm sure that other, you know, Denon has theirs and everybody's got their own little auto calibration. But man, you can't beat just a, an old style one like this. You can just hold up a manual and double check. Okay guys, so pretty simple deal. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so my main listening position is right here. Screen's right ahead of me. Two fronts right here. So this is my main listening position. So I want this SPL meter pretty much right around head height. This is what I end up doing is I have my remote in hand. I just kick back, turn this on, and sit it right there. And then I can adjust my levels right here. So any way you want to do it, guys. But this is a little corny, but it works for me. Okay, guys. So here's the SPL meter at my head height listening position. I'm going to bring up my setup on my AVR and go into manual mode. Go to test tone. On. And then go to level. And my master volume is at negative 20. So as you can see, that's my front left, and it's right about 74, 75. Bump to the next. Also sitting at 75, of course when I talk, the decibels go way up. So you want to make sure to keep very quiet. No cars going by, no wash, dishwasher, no clothes drying, no dog barking. That's sitting good at 75, do center channel. between 75 and 76 because I bumped it up a half dB on my gain. We're all sitting pretty good. These are my Dolby Atmos, front left. Looks good. Sub. Now I'm running this a couple of decibels hot, a little, little louder. So that's it, guys. Pretty easy to do with an SPL meter. Um, Less than 50 bucks on Amazon, okay? If you like this, you want to go in more in depth, feel free to check out my other video. It'll be right here on the side. You can click on it. And uh, that's with the Mini DSP and REW, a little bit more advanced version, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a good night.